Hi guys, here is Seoul, South Korea. I'm Jung Hee from Hello K Cooking Club. You've just watched an amazing kimchi making video, right? That's real. It is real. Every winter season, I make kimchi like that amount of kimchi, more than 100 pieces. But don't worry about it. I only prepared one cabbage with simple, easy recipe. Are you ready? We need to trim this amazing, beautiful, gigantic Napa cabbage first. How easy? Just follow me. So I have a big knife. Okay. Ooh, it is bad. So this green color ugly leaves. Bye-bye. Let's get rid of it. So you can just keep that one and you know we can make stew or any side dishes. But you know for the, this kimchi, we don't use this one. So bye-bye. And this bottom, let's get rid of it. Just be careful your finger. Then we need to make it half. This part is quite, you know, the hard, right? So let's break it. Then, with your hand, you can just break it. Oh my goodness. Can you see? Beautiful color. Then, let's make it half again. Then, with your hand, break it. So, I'm letting you know how to cut this cabbage. Well, actually, we need to make it. Okay. Ooh, let's live it and I can explain how to cut this cabbage. Oops. You have this quarter cabbage, right? We are going to use everything, but I'm letting you know how to cut cabbage with this one. So, this part, get rid of it. And this one, the inside of this one is really soft and you know, it's a small side, right? Just make it half and then to the empty big bowl, put inside. And this amount of, let's make it half like this and then break it. Then with one by size, put it one by size. Let's make it three divided like this and then one two three and let's make it one by side we have three more right let's do it okay. so hey guys i'll just then we need to like rinse, strain, rinse, strain, and then we need to make pickled, I mean salted pickled cabbage first. This is a salting process. And you know, don't worry about the like the big one by size. After a salting process, it will be smaller. So hey guys, let's go to clean it up. We have a cabbages. This one is radish. You guys call it daikon, right? So I prepared 800 gram of daikon. We need to cut this one. How? We need to make it really thinly. Around this size, then. Let's make it redivided like this side like same as cabbage right now let's live it on this one or so if you really hard to find this daikon you can just skip it but i really recommend prepare this one because it's really tasty. I've tried making kimchi. So we have to do salting process with this the vegetable. Why we do salting process to get kimchi? Salting process make a pickled veggie right with salt. It helps to keep it longer 
and we have to make it fermented veg, right? For the fermentation, we have to add salt. If you don't add salt, if you just skip this process, it's gonna be just go bad. Yeah, so let's just start. So I have a big empty bowl. Yeah, and we have to make vegetable lasagna. Add cabbage first, make a layer. Then, four to five, then, and this one is just rock big salt. To make kimchi, we need to use this big size of salt. And sprinkle. Yoohoo! And then, oof, cabbage again. And salt again. Again. You can mix radish too. And the rest of all the, of course, with daikon. Then salt. Mm. I prepared 200 grams of salt. Let's use everything. Mm. Then ah, we need to add water a little bit. Hey guys, we need to leave this one around two hours and one hour later, we're gonna all mix it up. So let's meet one hour later. See ya. So two hours later, cabbage is soft, right? And I'm gonna try it. Mm. Salty, we need to rinse. And you know, water is a lot, right? This is cool. You don't need to wash really well. Then, you need to squeeze all the water. Then, you need to wait for 30 minutes. And you know, the rest of the water will be a little bit dry, right? Let's wait 30 minutes later. Where is cabbage? Cabbage is over there. I just put it in a colander to drain, right? So it's time to make a kimchi sauce. It's really easy as a usual. Well, we need to make an eating glue. Do you remember the uh, the last video? We made a green onion kimchi, right? When we made that one, we used rice. But today, inside of the rice, I prepared the different types of eating glue with flour, with water. So if you are worried about how do I get the rice, you can just prepare water and flour. So to the empty pot, cold water, 120 milliliter, and one full spoon of flour, and Stirred. But fire hasn't turned on. So, and. You can use just normal all prepared flour or rice flour. It would be lovely. Stir really well. Now, let's turn it on. With the fire, we need to keep stirring around for three to five minutes. It's like kind of glue, and or this can be porridge, like baby meal. Ooh. Keep stirring it! Keep, keep, keep! It's quite watery, right? This texture is perfect, so let's just leave it. We need to cool it down. And then, it's time to use blender. So, let's talk about our ingredient. One apple, one onion, like one handful, like around 10 to 11 garlic cloves, and just a little bit of one teaspoon of ginger. And I prepared a beautiful red fresh chili. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you don't have this one, or if you cannot find this one, you can just use chili powder. Well, I will add four spoon of chili powder, but instead of this one, you need to add four more chili powder. So if you don't have red chili, eight chili powder would be lovely. So, yep. And mm, plum juice. Instead of the these plum juice, you can use sugar. And this one is sesame seed and fishy sauce. So to the blender, I will add onion. Let's make a small piece. And, and ginger and all the garlic. And we need apple. If you add apple and onion, 
you can feel natural sweet flavor. Okay. It's a lot! Then we need to add three spoon of fishy sauce. One, two, three. If you need a more salty flavor, we can add later. And four spoon of tom juice. One, two, three, four. If you don't have plum juice, you can add one big spoon of sugar. Yeah, so let's blend. <laughs> so, okay, guys, look at this pickled cabbage. I'm gonna try. Mmm, it's already actually really tasty, salty, sweet flavor from this cabbage. So this one is not really watery anymore. And to this one, let's add all of chili powder. I think I need to wear gloves. Then mix all of it for the color. Then, and let's add the eating glue. All of it. If you add eating glue, to the kimchi it helps to ferment it. Then we have this one, right? Oh, oh. then let's. Oh my god, <sighs> it is kimchi smell, and they took everything. Oh. Okay, then last one. Just two spoon of sesame seeds. Then it's mixing time. Oh my god, my eyes. Ah, it is kimchi. So let's try. Mm. Oh, mm. I'm gonna try. It, it's really tasty. Tell me why you why you close your eyes. Oh, can you see my eyes? Hey guys, it's really painful. I think I need a little bit more salty flavor. Oh, let's add one spoon of fishy sauce. It's perfect. This time, I'm gonna try this radish. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Hey guys, look at my ugly face. Kimchi is not spicy at all. But my eyes are really spicy and painful. Do you understand what I'm talking about, right? Like when you cut the onions. Okay. Oh my god. So hey guys, it is really funny, but <laughs> salting process was perfect. Mixing process was perfect. So let's put it into the container. So you guys, I need to stand up. Push, push, push. Okay. Ooh. And all the sauce. And hey guys, you guys have plus fat in your place, right? This is tip. Before for the leaf, let's put this plus fat. And then where is my leaf? Let's cover it. <coughs> hey guys. <sighs> Whenever I make kimchi and when I finish it, I feel like I feel like I'm super rich. So hey guys, thank you for watching my channel. See you next time. Bye bye. Hi guys. Oh, hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Here is a Seoul, South Korea. I'm Jonghee from Hello K Cooking Club.